All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is your boy, B, Bullet RC. And I'm coming at you guys again with yet another video. And y'all know what today is. Today is Friday. And what do we do on Friday? We come together, talk about what's being released, what has released, and just generally talk some shit about shoes, talk shit about sneakers, and just chop it up with you guys. And these videos go as follows. If I didn't talk about it, either I forgot, I didn't care, or... Uh, well, I guess it's just it. I just forgot or I just didn't care. Just wasn't important enough for me to talk about. Or I just didn't like it enough to talk about it. So, I mean, fuck it. It is what it is. So, first up, we have to talk about this. This has been all over the Twitter feed, all over the sneaker blogs. And it's the Lonzo Balls first show. I think it's the ZO2. And he has sandals as well. Now, the sandals retail at $220. And the shoe itself retails at $495. I think sizes 13 and up or 14 and up are like $665, I believe. And if you want the autograph pair that comes in a nice special clear box, that one's going to run you $995. So an even $1,000. So obviously, the price is like astronomical. You can do a lot with 500 bucks if you're going to go buy a sneaker. And I believe all the stuff that's available is actually a pre-order. So it's open to everyone. If you want a pair, you can get them. Now we've already seen the memes popping up. People have these with like the Marshall sales tags. And honestly, I mean, they went to the big brands from what I understand. I've been following it kind of loosely. You know, the father, I guess, went to the big brands. He proposed some crazy numbers. Maybe he was proposing very high to just like increase his ceiling. You know what I'm saying? Like when you go for a job offer, you say, okay, I want 20, even though, you know, realistically you might get paid 15. So none of the bigger brands took his offer. So what they did was they took it upon themselves to drop their own shoe and i think i should applaud them for that at least going the solo route and saying nah fuck the big brands we can do it ourselves but the 500 dollars price point is like if someone would have asked me how much do i think they're going to charge for it i would have said like 200 to 250 possibly now when you go on your own and try to make shoes and get molds it costs a lot of money trust me even just to make the slides for sample we got the prices back for making custom molds it, it costs it costs a lot of money so from a business aspect and just being your own brand big baller brand as they call it I mean salutes to them for doing something on their own and just saying you know we don't need the big companies we're doing it on our own I, I, I don't know like I would never wear that shoe casually I just wouldn't and I'm not like a Lonzo Ball fan either so even more i don't care about it and i understand taking inspiration from other shoes that you like but the shoe itself looks like a cross between a kobe um an adidas maybe crazy explosive maybe a nike hyper rev um with this weird boost looking material on the back the zo2 logos but let's just say let's be hypothetical lonzo ball is the next michael jordan the people the early adopters that got these shoes and got these collectors boxes and had that original shoe also that thousand dollar shoe comes with his autograph they could be sitting on a gold mine. So this is a shoe that we're really gonna see how it does within the years. This is the first shoe. I would just say good luck to you guys over there at the Big Baller brand. Um, maybe not the best tweet coming from uh, the father. He basically tweeted that if you can't afford the Big Baller shoe, this is not for you. Not everyone can afford $500 shoes. Maybe not the best tweet but it is what it is let's move on so as far as jordan releases go this week we just have the high and the metallic red og1 i might go for it i might wait for it to hit the sales rack some people might want to see a review for it so i might grab it tomorrow i do plan on heading to the mall and just seeing you know what's going on doing a little mall vlog for you guys but i'm not I'm, it's not pushing me over the edge yet you know what i'm saying i'm not ready to spend 160 on them yet maybe once i see them in person i like them i really like the metallic navy blue joints those are clean so we'll see what happens and then next up we got another project from pharrell and adidas now this is their new human race shoe and it's going to be hard for them to overcome the nmd i know that this shoe is like a new model it's pharrell's model it's not supposed to be an nmd or or a better version of the nmd and this new human race model is okay i mean it is by pharrell so i definitely want to support you know a va native but it's not pushing me over the edge yet maybe seeing on foot it'll look better but both of these first colorways they, they're not really pulling me so we'll see what happens with that one next up we have the nike lab air max one pinnacle now these come straight down to materials and colors you have the silk red which is the same color as my jewel forces back there and then you have like that tan mushroom colorway i feel like the best thing about these are the materials and the shape the shape looks really good the toe doesn't look really bulky and it just looks like a very well crafted shoe from some of the photos we've seen so these ones i'll definitely give a thumbs up but i will try to cop on sale 
That's how I'm feeling about these. So last week, you guys know I was on the West Coast and I wasn't able to make a Will You Cop because we had some heaters drop last week. So this one right here is, of course, the Yeezy V2 All White, the cream joints. If you missed my video from yesterday, I kind of talked a little bit more about these. These are going to work all summer long with a lot of different outfits. The only thing you got to worry about with these is keeping them clean. I'm good though because I got the rejuvenator pack on me, so I'm not even scared. I might even wear these tonight for Cinco de Mayo. I don't need these being stepped on for no reason by belligerent uh, pedestrians. I don't really need that. So yeah, cream white Easy V2, good shoe. And last week we had the release of the Pantone Air Jordan 7 and I mean, I'm, I'm sleep. I, I'm very, very snoozy on these joints. I mean, it's not a bad shoe, but I, I passed on it with ease. I, I just didn't care. <laughs> Honestly, didn't care. I was like, I don't need that one. Just, just let it go. I already got the UNC low, so ah, we're good. Then in more expensive shoe news, we had the Pure Platinum Air Jordan 5 drop. I think that was a week or two ago. Now, this was a $400 all light gray Air Jordan 5. And honestly, to me, it like, it was just weak. It was like a super weak colorway. It was a really weak release. Like the green, the Warhawks, way better shoe to buy if you're gonna spend $400. It's all like gray pair, sales racks bound for sure. Next up, we got another Nike Air more tempo, and this one's like all over Bordeaux, like a, bur a wine kind of burgundy. I feel like the all white pair with the black Air and the black stripes and a little bit of red here and there, I'm not sure the specific name of that colorway. That's one I would definitely cop over this burgundy wine pair. A lot of people were feeling them, but to me, it's another one to snooze on. I'll be looking for that other pair soon. Another release from last week was the Supreme Air, more of tempo, the Nike and Supreme joints, the sub-tempos. And I liked this shoe. I liked all the colorways. You had your basic red and white. You had your all black joints with the red swoosh on the bottom that were clean. And then you had the craziest most supreme pair in my opinion all gold trophy pair now if i had to rank them i would put the gold then the red then the black i do like the black though because i feel like this is the most simple colorway it's gonna be really easy to toss on with whatever and you don't have to worry about those getting like messed up as much now i personally missed out i was on an airplane at the time and just know nike and supreme were trying to hand out major l's and the pilot that turned my wi-fi off was handing out the the biggest L. He was like, nah, you we, oh, oh, you you wanted to buy Supreme. Ah, okay, well, go, give me one second. I'm gonna just turn the Wi-Fi off. Either way, I'm pretty sure I'll end up getting them in the future. Just a future delayed W. So as soon as I can get them on the channel, get a review out, I got you. For some more Adidas news, we have the Wings and Horns Adidas NMD R2. Now there was two different pairs of these. There was an all leather pair and a more prime and upper pair. Now I like these two collabs because they're switching it up. The prime knit one switch ups the whole prime knit aspect of it. The whole pattern is different. The shoe flows a little bit different. And there's some added details here and there. So it's just not slapping a colorway on it. Now I like the leather pair for the fact that they just switched out the materials, did something a little bit different like I said before. But I don't like the leather pair as much as I like the all like light khaki pair. So for me, I take the prime knit pair over the leather pair. Did I cop a pair? No, in the future, maybe, but not pressed. In collab news, we got a new collab from Future. Now this one looks like to be a mix between the Kamikaze and the Reebok Instapump Fury, but in a high model. And I'll be interested to see how this one does. Like this is Future's own brand new model mixing two classic retro like silhouettes. You guys know we have all these different Kendrick collabs, but it never was a shoe that he made himself. It was always playing around with colorways and concepts. This one is his own own brand new entity, his own brand new model. So I'm be interested to see how these do. We also got some new photos of the rumored Yeezy, uh, rumor, I, I always stress that, rumored Yeezy 650. This pair is like a dusty pink pair and it's literally just a mid cut, you know, 350. I feel like this one might work a little bit better with shorts. I'm not sure how they're gonna stack up with jeans, but regardless, I do like this dusty pastel kind of pink colorway that people are showing. And it's just a rumor right now, so we'll see what happens. I I'm assuming if they're gonna drop a mid cut release, it's probably gonna be closer to like the end of summer. I'm pretty sure they got some more like V2 blade as they call them or some new V2 colorways that still need to be dropped. So we'll see what happens with it. In Nike basketball news, we actually got a new look at the KD10, which people are speculating. We already know we had the nine, 
Then we had the 9 Elite, which usually serves as the 0.5, the half version, the better version of the 9. And the KD-10 seems like it's sticking with that 9 design. I did like the 9s. I even like the 9 Elite better than the original KD-9. But it's honestly not that different from the 9. So some people are going to like that. Some people aren't going to like that. They're going to say, well, we want a completely different shoe. But I think the 9 was one of the best KD models uh, as of late. So I don't think it's a bad move by Nike. And last up for this week, we finally got a preview of the Off-White and Nike Air Vapor Max. Now, we've already seen a few other colorways come out. We've seen Virgil himself wearing the Air Jordan 1, so we know that exists. And from what I've seen, it seems like all these collab shoes have this prototype look to them. They almost look like what the designers would draw up before they make the different changes and the shoes say air really big they have these weird cuts and these weird places of swooshes and materials um really weird looking tongue so we'll see how it does when they finally drop you know some people are gonna fuck with that prototype look and there's gonna be other people that just think they're straight trash anyways man that is it if there's anything i didn't talk about that you want to speak about definitely leave it down in the comments below and i will see you guys on next video so much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters you guys can follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud snapchat the snapchat is bull.cb by the way here there blase blot of course bullet rc and i will see you guys on next video y'all be easy i'm out